you know what? He, you know what? You know the funny thing about Sexy Crazy. Mama. He didn't know. He had the melody before, hmm. and he had recorded it on a beat. He said it didn't sound right, nice. Mm-hmm. Wow. Before he came to the studio, so when he heard the D tunes beat, he, he said, said this, this is the right beat. Right for, beat for yeah. it. So he just tapped and he laid he said, it. Bro, don't worry, I got a hook for this, and that was it. When I and Ubi came back, I think I remember we had this conversation, very hard to hard conversation. Conversation where Ubi was saying to me, "Pete, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> You're going to have to humility. Heal your you ask me where I get all my energy from? From the stage to the studio." And to my death, I am the energy god. And you can be one too. You're listening to Adi Shokwe Live, the Afrobeat podcast. Right. Right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another edition of Adi Shokwe Live, the official Afrobeat podcast here in the Afri Media Studios in London, where we break down the hottest topics in the culture. As always, we want to say thank you and shout outs to all the subscriptions, liking, commenting, sharing. We appreciate it. As I always say, we need our platforms to get bigger so we don't have to rely on others to promote our people before we can do it ourselves. So we appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is brought to you by the Energy God Energy Drink. Drink and be yourself. Stay energized and refreshed as always. You can go to energygod.com, place your orders. This is one of ours by ours, for us, by us. Rather than take endorsements from other platforms, why don't we just build? and build and keep building and that has to come with your support so go out there and check this out joining me in the studio for the first time ever is a music mogul an a and r executive an all-round entertainment entrepreneur give it up to my brother ubi the dragon Frank. <laughs> I'm going to adopt that. I'm going to put it on my fire saying, um, who be the dragon? I like it. I actually like it. Like no, no, I have to put that. Like and it. the returning, I love returning guests on my podcast because yeah. number one, it shows that they're very comfortable coming back, speaking right. to us. And there's been nothing but growth since the last conversation we had. It is one of the voices that represents our culture. A ladies' man who's continuously been a ladies' man okay. is the one and only global sensation. Yeah, yeah. What, up, what, up, what up, what up, man? My brothers, welcome. Let me drink some of this. Hey. This, this is a secret. <laughs> so, but you know, uh, you know, I drank it before you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really so nice. there was a day. There was a day I called him and said, "Listen, my brother, I see you pushing this thing. Send me some cartons." Man. Straight up, nice. straight up. You, you know. know we, we, you know, you're an entrepreneur, Ubi. Um, you've been in this business for quite some time. 19 years. If I'm going to tell you to summarize a little bit about you, what you do, and a little bit about your journey, so some of these people can, can get to program with who Ubi Franklin is. So one, one thing I'll say, I'm a solutionist mm. in the game. That's it. You're a solutionist that has come from where? What with who? All right, so... Uh, this is so this is so funny uh, because I've been in this game like 19 years. Yeah. So in, in 2006, um, I started this game by um, handling like like a backstage music stuff for a reality show in Nigeria, which was owned by my brother. You know how they do like eviction parties? Yes. So I brought like Two Face, um, AY. Back in the day, 2006, they'll come perform. So I was handling artists. From there, I became PA to my brother, who was um, who owned like a TV show in Nigeria. Yep. So the intern, so he gave me an opportunity to just walk around the scene mm. for, the, for the next two, two three years. Then I met some guy called um, Kelvin Orifa. Mm. He used to work with one of the tele- telco gi- giants in Nigeria, and he said to me, "I've been seeing your work. I think that you can actually do management very well." He said, I have a guy. Hmm. His name is Inyaya. I said, who is Inyaya? Because I, I never watched the competition that he, he won. Yep. So it was like, his name is Inyaya. I think that you guys can do a lot of work together. So I said, okay. He sent me his number. He gave me his number. For two years, I was calling Inyaya. Inyaya was very evasive. Inyaya is always quiet, <laughs> yeah. man. He's like, <laughs> he God was, damn. He was being evasive. So um, this was 2008. I called, I think, yeah, 2000 or 2000, 2009, yeah. 
I, I kept calling him Pig. So 2010, there was um, the head is held in Abuja, and we're all at the head is. So I still have that picture. So I I, met, I saw him and I heard someone say yeah yeah yeah. So I now walk up to him, say yeah, yeah 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 right. I said I've been calling you. I'm not picking up my call. I said bro, let's go. I'm gonna make you money, <laughs> right? Yeah. I said I've been calling you. I'm not picking up my call, right? He said let's go. I'm gonna make you money. I told I told him I'm gonna make you money. Then that was 20, 2010. Sometime in 2011, there was this big uh, thing going on in Nigeria, Occupy Nigeria. Yes. So we started talking. So one day I told him I said come to my house. He came. I was courting with somebody, and he came from there. We started working on music, and that's how we recorded. Um, the first song we actually recorded on that uh, that session was "Baby, This Your Booty in a No way. Yeah, that song was recorded before Kukeri. Okay. Wow. Like, like yeah. Commercial song. Yeah. Wow. So then the next song was Kukeri. Okay. No, no. The next song was We Get Money Every Hour. So it's called Champagne Showers. Is G O Y. Mm. Featuring um, what's this guy? I Iceberg, no Iceberg Slim, featuring Jiwa White. Wow! So Jiwa White then was a rapper. Yeah. Yeah. So this was from there we now uh, recorded. Jiwa White was the person that found Kiss Daniel. Jiwa yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. White. If so, you don't know. <laughs> so from there we now um, we now recorded Kukere, and the funny thing about Kukere is when we recorded Kukere, I didn't like the song because. Coming from an R and B perspective, so it's a singer, singer, yeah, singer, singer. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> baby, this your booty, I come yeah. It was also very, it's R and B, but it was also very weird for him. Yeah, he liked singing the straight, the, the straight, yeah, yeah the ballads, ballads, yeah. So he didn't like it. So one day, um, we recorded the uh, Kukere song, and there was a telco in Nigeria that were doing uh, uh, a tour with Mohit. Yeah, back in the day, Mohit. So we had gone to them. So. I didn't want to release the song, so I sent it to the guy who had introduced me to him. I said, this is a good song. I feel like we can do it. Wow. So he said, okay, let him look at it because they are going on tour with more hits. It will be a, a good opportunity for him to, to, go promote, to the promote the song. So Ian had not completed the song. So it was mainly the second verse. So I called him. I said, listen, you need to come and complete. He said, bro, there's nothing. Do you understand? He said, I don't. He, he doesn't want loud yeah. back. So, <laughs> so, be, so before that time, I had brought four producers to the studio. Wow. D Tunes, um, uh, there were like three other producers. So they started playing beats and everything. And he told me, I like D Tunes. That's how we, we signed that him. That energy. On. Yeah. That's how we signed him on. And we started working with him. So he produced Good Carry, produced uh, Flavor, Your produced waste. Your Waste. Yeah, yeah. So then, Sexy Mama. Sexy Mama. So then, when, we, when I sent mama. when I sent the song to the guy, he listened to it. So I called him. And I said, "Come and complete this song." He was very very basically again. I was like, "This guy, what's going on with him?" So one day I now called a friend. I said, "Please write me a check, five hundred k." Do you know what five hundred k is? <laughs> five hundred k is like twenty million now, bro. Yeah, five hundred k is like. Bro, he said this I wrote, to be via BBA. About guess what? Like, you know what he told to, me? To, so he, to he, write a check, yeah, that's what yeah. that they I, with I, they pay. I said, I said, I said, I said, somebody, I told him somebody came to the studio. <laughs> To listen to the song, right? <laughs> and I told him somebody came to the studio to listen to the song, and the person wants to pay us for a I show mean, yeah. that he needs to come. I said, send me the, the proof. So, so you know, then it was BB Messenger. Yeah, <laughs> then it was BB Messenger. So I, I sent him, I, I snapped the check, I, I sent it to him on WhatsApp on a uh, BB, BB Messenger. Messenger. So immediately he told me, see, he said, I only have one K. I'm going to fill my car and <laughs> come. Wrong. And if I get there and it's not, <laughs> no <laughs> much. So I said, come, but when you finish, we have the guy said we should finish the song, we'll play it for him before we we'll catch the check. We'll call his account manager. And you know, back in the day That's was management. You, you understand? So he came, recorded the song. Uh, Praise was in the studio. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Praise was in the studio. You know, we recorded the song. The song was ready. I carried this as they bounced the song and gave it to me. You know, then, so as they bounced the song, gave it to me, I called Shayman. You know Shayman, Shayman, Shayman yeah, and the mix. The Shayman yes. that owns Secret Palace. Yes. Yeah, okay. He makes the song. I called Shayman. I said, "Listen, we have a song. I want you to help us mix and master." He said, "Okay, bring it to the studio." You know, back in the day, all those emails, emails, it was there, but yeah, it was but not it like wasn't that. strong yeah. like that. So I carried it. I entered the bike straight to the mainland. He was still in my house waiting for for the check cash. <laughs> so I disappeared. I didn't sleep at home that day. <laughs> The next day, so I slept at Shaman's, I think Shaman's studio. He gave me the song, I came back, I submitted the song, then we dropped the song. You know, one funny thing is, 
Kukere, we didn't even have money to shoot the video. We we're mm. so fucking broke. Mm. Mm. So we're as brokers. Like, we shot Kukere, I think twice. Twice. The first Kukere, I was in the video. I was dancing because we needed extra. <laughs> so I was just dancing my, my soul off. <laughs> the video did not come out. Hey. Because one girl came, watched the video, and told us, this is rubbish. rubbish. <laughs> now, let me, even sh- let me even tell you. There's one of our best friends now, a girl. So, you know, back in the day, we don't want to test music. You tested with the women? We, we tested People with till women. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, w- when we're driving, so I, yeah, I'll be in the front of the car, I'll be driving, I'll just yeah, park man. like girls in the back. You know, we'll be going, <laughs> and I'll say, it, man. So, hey, and I, nah. so, and I'll play, and I'll play Kukiri for them. And they, say, say, they didn't know it was him. They said, this, who's this rubbish? <laughs> what is this? What's on? Nah, 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 nah. They like, cost, the artists, they cost immediately, the right there. immediately that girl said that. There were four girls. Behind. Only one girl said, oh, this is actually a nice song. Immediately that girl said that. Him, he had already lost it. That he didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This song, so, don't forget it. And now I, I, I went to MTN. <laughs> and I went to the, the telco. I gave it to them. The guy played the song. He liked it. And he was like, you guys, go for So now, guess, you see this fu- the funny thing? They couldn't afford to fly Aya and Iyaya. So I told Iyaya, since these guys are already people that you've been working with, go with them. I'll stay back. But I want you there. The first place Kukere was played was in Kaduna. God yeah. damn. When I saw my 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 uh, northern brothers go jump on, into jump it, into I was seeing, they sent me a video. Yeah. I knew that it was I over. For real. It was enough, we went, we shot another video. Now, so we now call Patrick Kelly. So, so now... When we're playing, you see how this thing is. I tell people, mm. right? E and R is not just about mm. just just talking, bro. If I put you in front of me and we're having a conversation, we'll make the conversation happen. Mm. We'll make things happen. Facts. Because I see what your need is, we merge it with my need. That's A and R. Actually, so I called, I called one of our friends. I said, I said to her, I said, listen, we have this song. What can you do for us? She's like, oh, in a job, they just paid her. Um, so Maria's, she doesn't even know what to do with it, but she's been seeing us struggle with this thing. She's heard us talk about it. She's going to loan us 800k to shoot the video. Pull the mic. Yeah. You. yeah. So, <laughs> so she's going to loan us 800k to shoot the video. That's how she loaned us that money. And we we'll call Patrick Ellis. And we told Patrick Ellis. We told Patrick Ellis, so we, we, mm. we don't have money. Yeah. But this is what he said. Come to the studio. Called MC Galaxy. Patrick does in uh, uh, Atlanta uh, now. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I call Patrick Ellis. I call Sexy so Steel. I called MC Galaxy. Guess what? A day before the video, we met MC Galaxy at one comedy studio, Coco Lounge, Coco Lounge on the mainland. Yaba. He Yaba. killed that video. And then, you know what? Kukiri was already picking up and we needed a video. So we called MC Galaxy. That same day, what MC Galaxy wore, the shirt, the jacket, I just removed it from my body and gave to him. Mm. I said, God, he, the dancing, you see, the he, passion, ah. the passion in it. Yeah. God, we got, we that got, was, you know, that was MC Galaxy's passion was what actually transcended into the UK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it was from that that the story now came yeah. that he had won a dance competi- competition. Yes. That David O gave him money for. Yeah. yeah. It was because of how it came out in that video, yeah. people now started to bring the story that this guy just actually won yeah. the dance competition that yeah. David O gave him money. That's how important so, he was. So that's how that's how the first single came and we pushed that song and it became a big song. Now, let me tell you this. We started, you know, when in Nigeria, when you have a, when there, every year, yeah. you have artists that like three or four of them have one, one song. Yeah, that big. big song. <clears throat> yeah, had that his class. And he's the only survived. I think Ryder is the only surviving person from that his class. Mm. And let me tell you what I did. You see, sometimes age is different from leadership. Facts. Mm. So one thousand percent. I called him here one day. We're going for so many shows. Every time we go for a show, he gets tired. He wants to stay back a day. I say, let's go back to Lagos. All the artists who they were booked with, they will stay back in the city two, three two, days. Two, three days. Chop money, Chop. enjoy life. We'll go back. So at this time, I knew that we had not arrived because I, f- I believe that Kukiri alone will not do the job we want yeah. done. One day, bro, even after we had Kukiri, right, 
hunger was still beating us. <laughs> We're still, bro. I, I shared, I shared don't this story forget, one day. Don't forget Bossman and the studio. Yeah, yeah. So I had a friend. Luckily, I had a friend. His name is Bossman. Bossman is a giant so kill. Oh. Same guy. Yeah, same guy. Yeah. So now the luck I had for him to have access to studio was, I was a studio manager mm. for for for, for, the, for Bossman. Bossman. So Bossman had traveled and he was not around. So the studio was not getting used. It, it was not Booked. getting patronage. Yes. Yeah. So I felt like, you know, let me just use it, call different artists to come. Let's just be, mm -hmm. let's create music. So that's how we created Cookery. Then we were staying in the Bossman guy's house because that was like my yeah, official yeah, residence. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So every day we had one generator. Now the generator in the studio and the generator in the house was the same generator. So hmm. if Inyaya's car packed up, we couldn't move the generator back and forth. So you know what we'll do? Wake up in the morning. If Inyaya pushed it, pushed to this point, D I'll push. Jitins will push. Um, Basi will push. push. We'll push till we get to the. So it was like maybe um, working was like maybe 10 minutes work. 10 minutes work. You understand? Yeah. So now one day, Inyaya wasn't at home. So, but I needed to get the gen to the. So I tied the gen on my waist mm -hmm. and was just walking. Because the gen had like tired. Tired. Uh, so, kidding. bro, you see. <laughs> The evolution of what we've done, right, is then one day, Kukiri had blown. Everything was fine. Things were picking up. Mm -hmm. Then, told Inyaya, I said, listen, the next phase is the next song. We need to do something. Don't forget, at this time, we already had flavor. Baby, this your booty, now come for... And you know, I'll come back there. Mm. But okay, let me say it. Do you know that we admired Don Jazzy so much that we wanted Don Jazzy on flavor? Baby, because so, that's his... But guess what? Yeah, guess what? Who has that voice? It was Uvi. That's my voice. You're lying. Yeah, that that, that voice so, just sounds like Jazzy. So I wanted Jazzy so much, bro. You know that that time, if Jazzy jumps, you would like, do it. This is this is the music business, bro. I just told him. I just told him, don't worry. I called D Tunes. I said, oh, oh, put on the mic. I went there. Baby, this your booty not confirm. Let me see you wind it to the ground. I like the way you the booga. Yeah. Bro, yeah, man. It's bro, bro man. I got that shit. I finessed it once. <laughs> shout out Jazzy. Bro, man. shout out Jazzy, man. What? Bro, he didn't because, let us rest. Bro, bro, should I just I hold them? Yeah. I was, I saw an interview with Tory Lanez in 2018. Yeah. Where he was talking about how he came up in the game. And because he wanted everybody's collaborations he never got. Yeah. He started to mimic them so their story lanes almost featuring future is story lanes story lanes featuring he created the voices himself yeah so <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious telling you, yeah. bro. <laughs> so we we couldn't get that we couldn't get jazz mm. uh, jazzy bro do you know what he is at that time to touch Jazzy? No, Jazzy, Jazzy was you, not even talking. Remember? He, he, was, not he talking. was not talking. Yeah. So he was not so talking. We didn't even know what his mindset Bro. was. Somebody had to whisper Bro. to him. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, Yo. being a young kid in the game, hmm. Hmm. daring to future Jazzy. See, who are you? Who, who, who did like? So I told d -Tunes, I said, let's try this thing. Because once we recorded the song, we needed that Jazzy voice Perfect. on it. I said, mm -hmm. let's try it. That's crazy. And I went to the mic. That thing you hear there was one take. Mm -hmm. And I told d I'm not going back there again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I gave them that thing. And it worked. And we kept the song. Then, one day, we're at home. Kukere blew everywhere. From Ghana. So, mm -hmm. guess what? Say that to the microphone again. From Ghana, actually. Kukere the, blew. The Asunto from, dance. Yeah. Came from, from Ghana. Ghana. So, yes, there was a, there was a, there was a dance Constance. group. Trust there was a me, dance I'm group. They are Ghanaians. They they, no, they, they live in New York. New York. They are Ghanaians. They live in New York. They now compiled a dance, put Azonto, everything into, into Kukere. 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 And then that one. Yeah. If you go on YouTube, that, that, that video is he has like almost, almost like 20 million views. Yeah, that's yeah. that video. Yeah. So, so that's why. see. Ghana then, is important then see, to Afro. Yeah, no, Ghana is if very you important. Don't know. Then yeah, C yeah, CEO yeah. dancers now took Kukere to um, British, British got, got Talent. Got talent. Yeah, that, yeah. that changed the whole yeah, game. The the Bro, game. that changed the entire game. I saw Nobile during the After Davido show in mm. January, and I told her, I said, anything she wants in music, she should let me know. I'll Facts. do something for her. That's actually... Because that's... you see, 
there were songs that period. Absolutely. They chose yeah, Kukere. Okay, yeah. I know oh. that immediately after CEO's dancers did that, that's when we started getting bookings in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, No, bro. Africa on Remember, we're African. So we're watching Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. And then these three girls come on. The Africans already. Yeah. And you see when Kukere, I'm, I'm having goosebumps and mm. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Mm. Because those are the few moments at that time. Yeah. Lamar, when Lamar was on Fame Academy, his parents came dressed in the Igbo outfit. Yeah. That gave us like... Yeah. Then oh, the Lamar. next one, yes! Okay, yeah. And then the next one was, Kukere, yeah. bang! We lost our minds. We, at that time, we oh, felt we had arrived. So immediately that happened, God damn it, man. Daria Taladi came calling. Hmm. Yeah. He wanted to sign here. Yeah, yeah. Damn! You know that period he had is, there's something he built Yay. up. Yay! Daria Taladi wanted to sign here. Yeah, yeah. Went to the meeting. That I let them finish speaking. You know, then I didn't have money. I, I was just that guy who had just a hustler. I was just talking, hustler, talking. So we went to the meeting, and yeah, I wanted to advance his career. So he all I was, that. all I was just telling him were things I would tell him, and they would work. But unka de So, yeah, bro, bro, you know what? <laughs> it was. Man. I'll tell you two deals <laughs> that define our move in the music industry. The first one was the Daria Dalade deal. We said no to it. Bro, we said no to that deal at the point where we knew that if we went to Daria with the, everything he was saying, right? No, sorry, I'm sorry, not Daria. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's LD. Jeez. Sorry, I'm so oh, sorry, Daria, 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 not Daria. I'm so sorry. LD. No, you know why I said Daria? Daria yeah, is so Daria much is in my head. He said too. Yeah. He's a boss. Yeah, he's a boss, yeah. Around. So LD, it's LD. You know the deal that like LD has been. LD. You know the, the conversations that have been going on with LD and the Shayman. That's Shayman, when he got the, them. Shayman, everybody on. The period he signed Shayman, everybody. He oh. wanted, bro. We had a meeting. You know what? He had the record label. Yeah, yeah, he had the record label. So it was LD, not not Dari. So we had that conversation, bro. We sat down there. LD walked into the room, the meeting room. He had a, um, one lady there. She's still our friend. She, they walked in there, they showed us a 3D of how they are going to promote Nia's album. They're taking over all the billboards in Lagos, um, radio, everything. They have the best media buying company in Nigeria. That's what they were going to do for us. Bro, Nia was ready. Yeah. I told him, let's go. I told him, I told LD, bro, at the time, with the power LD had in the game, with the backing he had in terms of finances, nobody would say no to him. Bro, we walked out of that meeting. I told Nya, I said, we're not going back there. Hold on yeah. one second. Nyanya, as the artist, yeah. you are now at the position where the work is blown off. Calls are coming in. Yeah. You get this big meeting. Yeah. The offer was juicy. Yeah. Your manager, who had no penny, yeah. both of you were basically still living together, yeah. says, we're not going to take this deal. How did you feel? I'll be honest, there were times I thought he lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm being real. I'm being real. There were yeah, times exactly. I used to go back and say, is this guy really... Yeah. Is this guy... Like, is it, but then he would tell you, bro, there's a bigger... Don't worry, the reason why I don't want you to take it is because I see something bigger. Yeah. And that was just our first meeting. The next one was Peace Square. The next one. Ah! Bro. Yeah. <laughs> P Square called us to their house. Yeah. In, no, yeah. bro. We okay. Jude, so root ball and Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you what happened in that meeting. Jude, we got there. God. Jude, P Square. Uh, Jude, Paul, Peter. Yeah. They told me Ubi, wait outside. They called the into the house. I was boiling down. <laughs> see, man. bro. You know what? Immediately, they, see, Inya would have, bro. Inya would have gotten that deal with P Square. He would have, would have done the deal. Hmm. But for the fact that they said, wait outside. Because they wanted the My talent. ego was bruised. <laughs> and you know what? I said, even if, you know what I said? You know what I said to them? I said, even if I was offered $50 million, <laughs> I'll reject the deal. Because they were like, this guy no be manager because guess level. What, guess what? Will... LD's deal was actually better than theirs. Yeah. No, no. But because they but have they, they But then they were... Uh, do you understand? But, but forget yeah. P-Square was Michael Jackson. Yeah. So, do you know what it is to walk into P-Square too? And, so, and, and say at no. that time. So, they, oh, they were offering a deal. The only difference between P-Square and this deal was P-Square were going to take us... They told On the, the road. Air, they will take you everywhere. On the road. 
on the road straight. They say we'll go everywhere. See all these stadiums. We'll perform. We'll do everything. You know, this your Kukere needs to go. Hey, Nya came out from the meeting. You were sitting and, down there bro, sweating, bro. I was. There's, there's, there's like a. a I was sweating. <laughs> you know what? I almost drove away. Then Basi told me, no, 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 let's stay, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. So Nya came out of the meeting, was very excited. It was like, yeah, they will sign a contract yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Now, guess what? Jude now came out and told me, I'll send you guys a contract tomorrow. Send me your email. I sent him the email quietly and left. They sent, I think they sent a document, but we never replied. Nya was kept asking me, how far, how far, how far? Now, guess what? You see, sometimes when you are in a position of power, <laughs> You should always have, you should stop screening things. So, Nia yeah, tried to call them back. To say, ah, to say we didn't wait now. Because I knew he was going to say yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> so Nia yeah, tried to call them back, but he didn't know that they had sent a contract. Yeah. And I said no. Hmm. The day we got back from that meeting, that's the day I told Nia, yeah, I said, we start our labor. Let's start our labor. That night. I said, wow. I said, that was the night. I said, I, said, was... I said, if we start our labor, these guys will take us serious. I said, I, you know then, guess who was my, the guy I was looking up to in management was actually Jude. Jude, yeah. I loved the rude attitude. I loved the, she was, <laughs> it was it the business, taking, it was a tiger. It doesn't take so no I, prisoners. Bro, you know what, that's what I love. <laughs> so standing in front of somebody, you actually, and you are saying, and then you knew that you are going to say no to this guy, it was so sweet. <laughs> you know, so I went back home. I told him that day, I said, we are going to start our record label. But then, I want you to record it, another song. Hmm. Bro, I tell you something, I wish I can be in the heads of all the young artists who drop hit singles. The hit record. Bro, you, you know what? follow it up. The luck we have is we're able to be so grounded to get the next, to get the next, and to get the next, and next, and next. Kill the album. Bro, it's not easy. It's a yeah. hit record, your own. An artist is only guaranteed one. Oh. So one is the only guarantee I went to go you up, have as an artist. The rest woke up in the morning. is based on your hard work. Woke up in the morning. You know, then it was a two bedroom. Hmm. So if you had bring babe come first, you uh, yeah, go sleep nah, in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Deep since all of us go sleep in the living room. Everybody is stand for kids when to bath. Yeah, you understand. <laughs> so then the hustle. The hustle was crazy. Was crazy. Then I went to buy uh, noodles. To come and prepare so that everybody will eat. I, I, I got back, d had opened up his studio, his studio laptop set up, yeah. set up in the living room. Yeah, already I yeah, told him because yeah, was his head was full, he didn't know what next. Hmm. Yeah, I told him, strip Kukere of all the melodies, leave the percussion. Leave the percussion. Are you for real? Yeah. Yeah. He now said, He now told Basi, come and do. Yeah. Talk to me about that. What, what did you hear? So we moved. We moved into a new. No, we hadn't moved then. Kukero, uh, your uh, no, we, your way. We did because I remember no, there no. were no. Curtains. Your no, your ways was recorded in that same living that, room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it was. So, it was two weeks reason, after mm, before we, we, that's when we moved. It, the pressure was so much, mm. right? Everybody kept saying, ah, ah, "Are you Is sure you next? can top this?" So I just said to him, "Remove all the melodies and then keep the percussion." So we invited friends, girls. Just the percussion. Yeah, just the percussion. Yeah. So when the girls came, we were having like a small party. I just had pockets. I remember, you know, from where, you know, from Calaba. Mm. It's like it's a game we used to play as kids. Yeah. So I called Basi. I said, can you whisper that? Wow. Basi went and recorded that. And then everybody, the girls were dancing. I was just looking at them. I said, Basi, let's just do your waist, your waist. All I want is your waist. That was it. No then way. immediately after that, so, so that song was recorded. That's why and I guess say what? artists he's are some of the closest human beings to God. Yeah, yeah. I'm wild, telling you. Bro. So he still didn't, he still didn't believe in the song. Nah. So we, two weeks later, we moved to a new house. Yeah. Then I told him, check your, check your. Um, so then Twitter just started. And I said, so he woke up in the morning and told me he wants to mention some some names. Mm. That I should give him names for people. So then mm. I just, you know, I used to school in Ghana. Mm. Yeah, I went to I went to Gimpa in Ghana, so I did a course in Ghana. That was the time Mr. Easy, all of us were in Ghana yeah. together. Mr. Easy, Easy, Jocelyn Dumas. Then I knew Yvonne Nelson there. Damn. So when we're writing the names, I now told him there's a girl in Ghana. She's a hot. 
Dan Yvonne was like the hottest. Still the hottest. <laughs> still the hottest in the game. Like, still the hottest in the game. Bro. <laughs> then I now said, Yvonne Nelson. So I told her, yeah, we have to message her. So I took her yeah, to Twitter. I sent her a DM. Two minutes later, she replied. Oh, it's like, it's like, it's it's it. Yeah, yeah. It's You understand? <laughs> Then, my, my guy, dog. Ooh. Bro, then we recorded the song that we called names Genevieve, Toto mm. DK, Yvonne Nelson. We called everybody on the song. And then it was time for us to release the song. We released the song. I tell you something, we've not released music. So coming from Kukeri, Kukeri was more of a different generation yep. kind of music. Yep. Kukeri, for me, I think Kukeri was the Buga of. Yeah, this yeah. Year. Enter there yeah, yeah, every yeah. corner. So Buga is like everybody's everybody, song. So everybody. So Kukeri was like that song, everybody's song. So we dropped the song. I go on Twitter. I see that there's one of my friends, my own guy, was abusing us. <sighs> what kind of song is this? He had put off his phone, entered the room, and didn't come out for three days. So as a musician, yeah. Yeah. When you've put so much in a record like that, mm -hmm. or a performance, and you see such hard-hitting criticism, tell me how that makes you feel. How you it felt. It breaks you. It breaks you because you're making this music for the same people, <laughs> and for the you know for them to now, you know, get back at you with so much negative energy. It breaks you. When I was younger, it was terrible. I'd lock myself in. I don't want to talk to anybody. But now I can handle it. Wow. Yeah. So we released our song. Two weeks later, everything changed. God yeah. damn it. After the initial. That's another reason why I tell people when songs come out, within two seconds on Twitter, ah, this is trash. I'm saying, oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord, man. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that was when we, so we had a friend who was very, so I was closer. You know, the funny thing is I was closer to Wheeze. Mm. Back in the day. Yeah. We used to come to that same place where we stayed. Yeah. You know? So no I was way. I was yeah. closer to Wiz. So um I had a I have, we have a, a family friend. Um his name is Roland. We we'll call him Bills. Bills. Yeah. So Bills was also very close to Wiz. Yeah. So one day when we're just chilling, we're preparing the album and everything. So and I call Wiz. Um Bills, that our guy Roland said, Where are you? He said, I'm with Whiskey. I said, oh, really? Um, where are you guys? I want to come. So I got there. I got to Whiskey's house. He was just chilling with, and I was like, I was just talking to him. I said, ah, Whiz, I'm fine. I go, I go, let me, you come studio with me and everything. We say he wasn't going to be able to make it. So I said, no pressure. Do you understand? Mm. So, you know, then I have pictures. I always post once in a while, like mm. old pictures. So we took a picture, then I left. Then we're in the studio recording. Whiskey just showed up. Just showed up like that. He came with that our yeah, guy, yeah, yeah, Bills. He yeah, just yeah, walked yeah. into the studio. That's studies. the good yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. till tomorrow. That's the greatness of so that let me, young let man. Me tell yeah. you how sexy when when we played the beats, right? He was just there, he was dancing. Ah, more like beat you have gone. He <laughs> was so excited. The next thing he tapped and said, Bro, I got something for you. He started singing sexy mama. So he, mama, well, like yeah, mama. He, he came with yeah, the melody. He came with the melody, yeah. So and the hope that yeah, the yeah. So the vibe of the record, he put that. So you know what he, you know what you know the funny thing about sexy Crazy. mama, he didn't know. He had the melody before, hmm. and he had recorded it on a beat. He said it didn't sound right, nice. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Before he came to the studio, so when he heard the D tunes beat, he, just he, said, he said that this is the right, is the right beat. For, for yeah. it. So he just tapped and he laid and said, it. Bro, don't worry, I got a hook for this, and that was it. You know what? He stayed in the studio, recorded everything, we vibed the song, everything, and was ready, and he now left. Now, a lot of people have seen Ubi, they've seen Iyaya, mm. the stories go, there's techno, one of my personal favorite artists of all time from the culture. I say it till tomorrow. It'll be Great difficult artists. for anybody. I don't care who you are. Let's go 10 for 10. Tech. You you'll be difficult to, to, he's, to put techno gifted, down. Man. Trust me, the, the way when it comes to techno, Ubi knows yeah. the way from time. I know they play with techno matter. When it comes to music, there's techno, there's celebobo, 
an incredible genius that I believe this generation really still hasn't given him his flowers. Yet. Yeah, yeah, they haven't. How crazy talented that brother is. Yeah. You worked with all these people, you had Ubi became a boss, moving around, you know, life was sweet. These guys used to come to London, staying in the high end that time. These guys are in life. Yo, I remember. <laughs> Chelsea, I remember coming to do a interview for us in uh, When I come and hang out with these guys, uh, when I come and hang out with oh, them, yeah. Kimbo, I'm talking 10 years ago now. Yeah. This, the flat will be littered with all sorts of accents from girls. From oh, America. Chelsea, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Guess who that girl is now? Guess what? Like one of those girls. Uh, no. uh, you know, Efia or in Ghana. Yes, sir. That's one of the girls. She was one of the ladies yeah. there. I'm talking American accents, <laughs> British accent, yeah. Caribbean accent. You go to Demiyaya's flat in Kilburn, is littered with some of the stunt. It used yeah. to be crazy. Yeah. Like these guys who come in to come and listen to music, the first 30, 40 minutes, nah, man. There are too many girls in the place exactly. where by. <laughs> You listen to accents. Well, listen to accents. I know what, whenever we're coming to London, it just always feels like, oh, you're coming from where? London. Coming. New York. Everybody coming. just flies in. Like, Everyone. That's how crazy it was. You guys were super successful. Yaya touring the world. I, I actually believe that Yaya is the first Afrobeats artist to headline at the Brixton Academy. Yeah. Please let's put a round of applause to that. So that. So <laughs> don't 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 you don't shout outs to Coco Bar. Don't yeah, don't don't, Bar, don't and make And we know we did that twice. So don't that's why it's also good like history. Yeah. We have to talk about these things. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes we need to rem remind yeah. people yeah. that certain things is not new. You have it's those videos, you know? Of course yeah. we have them. You know, so and then the biggest news at the time the separation of the label everybody goes their separate ways you know social media was just coming then so the negativity was crazy and the thirst for the media and fans for any form of negative news was the best yeah. we were so thirsty for viral negativity yeah. oh, man. and i also think that was part of the thing that also even made it worse Word. for you guys because yeah. they were pulling for content from yeah. you we're pulling from content from you, yeah. which always made it worse. And then all of a sudden, a couple years ago, the unthinkable basically happened, yeah. where a lot of us never ever thought we would see a reemergence of the made men pioneer. Yeah. And that is Ubi Franklin and his business brother, Inyanya together on a second 2.0 run yeah. at this game with all the water under the bridge. I spoke to Inyanya about it. I just want to ask you, I'm just going to ask you one question. Yeah. How did that reunion happen? So um, sometime in 2021, um, so you know the funny thing? You see, I'll say this for every young artist to learn, hmm. not because I'm trying to spite my brother, yeah, but he also is trying to make sure that a lot of young artists learn. Absolutely, yeah, he's created you an see, example already. When you are in a, when you are on the top of your game, make sure you look around hmm. and understand that not everybody around you is just there because of the one they take the money. You. There are people that are there because they're passionate about your brand. Just love your story. You see, the easiest thing, check it very well, the easiest thing for successful young people that happens to them is women. Not because of they are, not because of the women are taking everything from them. Mm. But it's, you see that thing? Whisper. Ah, what this guy they chop from me to the mission. What is he even what doing? What is he even doing? And then once you overcome that, which I knew he did. Yeah. You get, you get to another person who is trying to set your partner up because they want they want to, to take that position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Of course. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. they're telling him things, bro. There's no perfect relationship. Facts. Mm. In this industry, we all go wrong. In real life. Even in real life, <laughs> there's no perfect relationship. <laughs> in real life. Yeah. <laughs> so I've had the best and the worst relationship with people. Mm. But I always say that. Listen, we are like 
a book. You know that Adesho Kwe's chapter in my book yes. is different. Yep. Facts. Yaya's chapter in my book is Facts. different. So as you keep reading, the story becomes better and greater, depending on how you view it. So if you're a young artist watching this podcast, one thing I would advise you is as you are growing, build a team and understand that only a team can get you to where you're going to. Hmm. So, do you know after we, we went our separate ways, I hit one big business. Hmm. I, I, I was on some $5 million P doing a lot of stuff. I wasn't even doing music then. That was when you were doing the uh, the flats, yeah, the, in the some people, yeah. dry cleaning yeah. business, yeah. I this, I that, I this. I was just doing all of those things. And I had techno. So hmm. I had moved, moved to Polo. I said, Polo, I might let's be, partner with the let's management. Partner with this. And you'll be managing techno. Let's do this thing together. I was seeing money from techno steady. But, bro, I'll tell you this. I couldn't sleep well knowing that you things left were, your brother behind. Things were, things were going wrong. You, you see, the thing is, it felt, like, it felt like things were going right, mm -hmm. but I could see things were going wrong because, you see, Adeshokwe, I'll tell you today, what you're doing today is what I've known you to always do. Fact. The passion, the 100% representation. As you are, you can see somebody and open up your mind to them. Facts. Do you understand? It's been like that. There's no big star today on the top, let's say the top five today. In Nigeria, that hadn't come through your academy, Factory Facts. 78. Facts. And you walked diligently with your brother, Larry, yeah. and made sure that, bro, I never saw anything like envy or anything. Facts. Facts. But you see, we grew that thing. One day I called him, yeah. So I'll tell you how this 2016 happened. Yeah. I was in Arizona to have my baby. And he called me, said he wants to see me. I flew from Arizona to Houston. I walked into the room. He was him and one other guy. They were in the room. When I walked into the room, I knew that... The energy yeah, was... I knew the energy was off. He said to me, I don't want us to work anymore. I said, why? What happened? He said, he's done. He wants to move. You know, there's an information you get where your mindset is. You are ready for whatever happens. Yes, yes. yeah. So I just told him. I said, okay, no problem. I said, oh, this toy you're doing, uh, my own court, I beg. Straight. Give me. They gave me my own cut. I say all that shows you are doing no problem. Thank you. I got into it. I left. I thought that he was going to change his mind. He didn't. He got back to Nigeria. We had a meeting. I spoke to him. Not one. Then I didn't know that there were forces. Oh, no, that uh, pressuring that thing to happen. Of course. You know the last thing I told him. I said you your towel is so wet right now. I said wherever you are going to. They are going to squeeze that towel, but they will not add water to it. Mm. Take us. I say, even if they are going to add water to it, they will not know the amount of water to add to they it. They don't to make even it wetter. Because they are not. I said, let's do this thing. He said, no. I signed off everything. I said, okay, cool. And you know, when he was going, I signed off everything. I didn't take anything. I said, no problem. You can have it. And I left. 2021. Do you know, this period, yep. it was um, like five years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah five years. I always go to, I'll, I'll, I'll find a code. I'll call Two Face. Because Two Face, he or, himself and Two Face were living in the same estate. Yeah. I'll call Two Face, like I'm going to Two Face's house, or call AY. Yeah, I'm going to AY's house and I'll drive to his house. I'll go there. I'll say to him, I said, brother, you're not okay. Let's make this thing work. He said, bad time, nothing. I said, I left him. So 2021. Just after the pandemic, I think the pandemic kind of reset everybody. Yeah, everybody was indoors. Yeah. So 2021, we went to see one of our friends. He's currently a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Asukwe hmm. We went to see him in one hotel in Lagos. So when we walked into the... I didn't know he was coming. He didn't know I was coming. So we walked into the room, the, the uh, apartment, and I said hi to him. He came with some of his guys. We just were just... So the guy called us to the balcony. I said, two of you, this thing you guys are doing, you need to be better stop it. Wow. And you know what? T today, I don't think Annie and I actually sat down to have a conversation about well, what happened, what did not happen. Yeah. From that day, that was it. Let's move on. Yeah. So I told him, I said, listen, if you want us to move, you need to understand where we are coming from, how we started this thing. Let that position continue. He said, fine. And then we went. 
So I sat down, I looked at his numbers on YouTube, everything, things he's done, what he did the last three, um, the mm. last two years and everything. I told him that, listen, over the years, while you were away, I was farming some relationships. I need to go back to them. Mm. He said, whoa, I think I need to call Keith Daniel. Mm. I love that guy. Keith, if Keith wants to stand up for you and do something for you, he'll do it to the extreme. Mm. I call Case. I said, Case, how far away they? He said, I'm at home. I said, please, me and Yaya are back together. I want to bring him to you. You know, let's let's vibe. Because Keys used to come to our studio back in the day to mm. record. Keys recorded would you like all, most of his songs in our studio with, with DJ Kublong. You know, after the yeah. point we now signed DJ Kublong. Yep. So we, we had a house where we put Kublong, Techno, Celebo Boss. So we built a studio there. They were always using the studio. So Keys used to come there to record. So he had already, he, he had met me in the studio a couple of times and everything. So one day, so I called him. I said, bro, where are you at? He says, at home. I said, you come your house. He said, yeah, any, any better? I said, well, I want you to do something with me, yeah, yeah, please. Can you do it? He said, yeah, sure, you guys should come. I said, okay. Keys not in his word. He said, let's come, let's do it. <laughs> it's crazy. Bro, let me tell you something. I appreciate the people who will help you even when it's not okay to When help. it doesn't, when it's not, when there's no benefit. Benefit. Keys was not going to benefit anything. Anything. But he felt like, Ubi has called me. I have met Nyaya in the past. Nyaya was somebody that I also know. Yeah. Let's created go. a path. We got to the studio. Kiss opened his laptop. You see, I'll forever be indebted to him. I'll tell you why. He opened his laptop. He played us. Um, pour me water. Hmm. No, no. No, he played us Booga first. Hmm. Wow. He told him, yeah, take this song. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guess what? The music business. And we now told him, I didn't like this song. Jeez. Now, you see, I'll tell you, I always say this. Whenever because I remember, you heard. Whenever I, I remember, know, yeah. whenever I remember a song yeah. that I didn't take and yeah. became a big song. Yeah. I always knew that it's meant for that. For that person, person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, don't yeah. forget that. Yeah, yeah. Buga became what it is because mm. Kizane dropped one of the hardest EPs that had poor me water, lie. It was it coming. Was building. It was building. So was Kizane building. was ready for a global. And hit. then he promoted it with his, with his heart. Then Kizane now played um, different songs. So he now played like. And I said, What voice is that? He said, That's David Doe. I said, Two of you have recorded. Eh? I was yeah. like, My job is done. Yem died. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so immediately, he now told me, Keith now told me, David is your brother. If you can get, David, if, if you, you can, can get clear David, it. if you can clear that's with David, it. we are good. Yeah. So now I have to do what I have to do. Obio, fathers. So I don't call. I don't call. I don't call. His wife. Ah! I said, you went through the heart of I now, a man. I now, called, I now called his wife. So I know that if I call him, he would do it. Yeah. But the thing is, I wanted to, you know. No, no, no. So I now That's called, the power yeah, of the man. Because I'm managing, I'm managing his wife. <laughs> so you I had, said. You had a key. <laughs> I now called his wife. I said, gee, what are you do? You know, so Choma has this thing that whenever I call her for something, whenever I call her, the person will say, you have come again. What do you want? What is it? What is it? <laughs> you know. I call her, I say, I start hailing her. Well, so, yeah. Chopper knows that whenever I start hailing her, no, there's, no, something. No, there's something there. So, I start hailing her, hailing her. He said, oh, Alpha. I say, I'm fine. I say, I say, where are you? Where are you? She says, I'm home. I say, okay, I'm coming. He said, you know what? The first thing she always say, make sure you bring phones. Oh. Yeah, yeah not don't come money, and don't come. talk here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I said, don't worry. And I said, I, said, <laughs> I, said, I went to the studio. There's a song I heard. He has David on in, in the song. I said, I said, I said, I'm going to go and talk to David. When he goes back, when he gets home later, mm. yeah, put in word. Put in word. After dinner, yeah. when the man is relaxing with his family, <laughs> I said, I said, I said, when he gets back later, please put in word. Mm. Just you don't have to push anything. Just drop a yeah. a bar. That's all. Now, let, do you know what? What people don't know is trauma is one of the. Who is actually another very big area. Yeah, now. Yeah. See, Thomas puts us on, most of us on song. 
Like, if someone has, someone has a song, she would call you and say, this song should is I, good. Paul, should I tell you one time? Yeah. Even like eight years ago, when Burner Boy had um, On The Low mm -hmm. and On David O'Snap at the yeah. time, he used to sing it every day. Yeah. So one day he recorded himself. He now recorded Choma yeah. and say, yo, burn my G. She made me love this record. Yeah, that's how Choma is. 1,000%. Like, I remember that video so badly. Yeah. Because they used to sing it together every day. He now did a video and said, burn my G. This is your biggest fan. She made yeah. me love this record. Guess, guess another song that Choma made Levy love. Do that, that, that. I mean, yeah, I, I tell me. <laughs> No way. So yeah, Chris Pro King Prom is actually yeah. one of our best artists. Yeah. Um, then even Twer Twer too. Hmm. Like, you know. Anyway, so I told her that she said, "I ah, don't problem." Now she gets up. So now, as Providence will have it, I called David. They were like, "Ah, no, 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 no." no. He now told, "I'll call you back." He now drops the call. He now calls me back and explains something around. Some other things yeah, happening at the time. Yeah, but he said, okay, you know what? Go and record it. Send me the final recording. Let me hear it. Mm. The next day, I went, we went to Kiz Daniel's house. Kiz Daniel personally sound engineered that song. He recorded in Yaya himself. Yeah, he, recorded in he told Yaya, yeah. listen, if you want to sing this song, <laughs> you have to sing it with your soul. Ah! People oh, have no. to love it. Are you he recorded it. Bro, it took us a song that's already been written. It took us like three hours to record that song. What? Because you wanted the right emotion. We will finish recording. He will play, play, play. He said, no, no, no. Let's go back again. We will record everything. Inyaya. Yeah. Coming from winning a massive talent competition yeah. in 2007, is it? 2008. 2008. A monster hit record. Arguably one of the first viral Afrobeat records yeah. to completely change the game for us. Yeah. Seeing the likes of Kiss Daniel come up as a young guy in the industry that looked up to you yeah. to now becoming a monster himself and a superstar yeah. and being in a position where this guy yeah. who you've seen come up and become a, a huge star yeah. sits down and tells you specifically how he wants you to sound yeah. on this record. No, do it like this. No, no, let's take it again. No, 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 no. Let's take it again. How's that process for you? How did you feel taking those orders and submitting yourself to somebody that you believed knew exactly what's going to be perfect on that record? That's a good question. That's not the easiest thing to do. Hmm. But like I said, when I and Ubi came back, I think I remember we had this conversation, very hard to hard conversation. The conversation where Ubi was saying to me, Pete, it's not going to be easy. Hmm. You're going to have to humility kill your ego, and uh, some people are going to you know bully you, so hmm. whatever, whatever. So, when I when I after that com conversation, I remember going home and saying, Okay, then this, this is a new journey for me to relearn stuff. Hmm. So, I completely made sure that for every time there was you know job to be done, my job is just to make sure it's, it's done, nothing else. Fantastic. So working with kids and kids saying, oh, you have to do this. I, I, there was no ego. It's just <laughs> kids, kids, how do you want it? Let's go. Mm -hmm. And that's how it's been since then till now. Mm. I've, I've allowed myself to relearn stuff and just kill ego and more, more humility. And that has really helped me to grow. That's amazing, brother. Yeah. That's amazing, brother. So that, that's why I always say this. Our people were dear to my heart. <laughs> and they are few. Now, not because of music, but I've seen them in personal form. They picked up the phone when they didn't yeah. have to. Yeah. When they didn't have to. When it didn't you favor see, you them. See, you see, you see, Davido. You see, Davido. Yeah, I don't play with him. I don't play with him. I always say I this: that I don't play with him. Yeah. David is a a human being. Yeah. So people, I don't know how people view him. Yeah. But that guy, yeah, he's the bridge that this industry has. Yeah. 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 He understands what. He understands humanity. Yep. Yes. If I, there are times where we'll drop a song, David will call me on video, say, I want to talk to you. Yeah. Bro, this your song is mad. You'll be give happy. Him be the right to. Sorry, sorry. Let, let me tell you something David did. When hmm. we were shooting the, the likes video, right? So David didn't know I was behind him. Hmm. Yeah, come to. He didn't know I was behind him. Yeah. 
Because he did say, oh man, I'm so happy, man, he's back. He said, I was, I was behind him. Like, he didn't know. And he was excited yeah, about yeah. your return. So, yeah. so, so behind him, I was looking at him, he was so excited. <laughs> and that was the day I just knew the guy is such a lovely person. So David, oh, David claps so for people, for people yeah. a lot. Yeah. You, you, know, you know, he'll say to me, hey, bro. Bro. You say, hey, bro, you're coming back strong, you know? So, mm. so, so this is what people don't know. No Wahala remix. Mm. I'll tell you that No Wahala remix was orchestrated by Nyaya through me. Yeah. And I'll tell you what happened. Nyaya had worked with Wanda Banton mm. in the periods where he was looking for help, people yeah. who help him create music without charging him too much. Yeah. Wanda Banton was a brother. Mm. Always recording music with Nyaya, helping him, you know. And we dropped a song with Ira Star. Yep. Kiss Daniel heard that song. The day we went to record, like. Yeah. He heard the song. And he was like, I like this song. Who produced it? He said, one guy called Wanda Banton. And I said, oh, really? It's a nice song. I said, but he has a big song now called um, No Wahala. Ah, yeah. He said, sing the song. So I don't play the song from my phone. He knew it. And he knew the song. So I like the song. I was like, he's our guy. Please, can you do a remix of this song? Yeah. Wow. Right yeah. there. Without yeah. Wonder Banton even knowing. No yeah. He never thought about it. Yeah, now said, ah, he's my guy. He's been always supportive and everything. Can you please? Now, don't forget this. Nia yeah, was in the studio to take a song. Hmm. But he was also campaigning, campaigning, campaigning for, for somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah. the same guy that hasn't even approved your own. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, Nia yeah, now said, so in, in a kiss now said, Ubi, are you sure? I say, yeah, please, if you can. And I say, call the guy to come. I'm going to say this first on an interview. When I called the guy, guess what the guy said? He said, Baba, no one remix my song. This, that, 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 that. Hey! So he didn't know, he didn't know. Who? I was, he who didn't you know were who calling him for? I was calling him for. Although I mentioned the name, but he didn't hear. Guess what? He was, now he did an interview. He said he was actually playing game with Dan Dizzy. <laughs> so he Keeper. wasn't concentrating. So he wasn't concentrating. He didn't hear who I mentioned. So after he lost the game, it dawned on him that I called him and he said that. So I blocked his number. Hi! So he now called my cousin, Ominia, and said, I beg, Baba, call me now, now, now. He blessed me, get person when they meet. He now said, Yes, so Kizani won't, Kizani, we don't hey. Kizani, man, do your song. He said, Hey, where on that day? He was in the studio. The guy came to the studio. Yeah. With me, he came in later. I said, Baba, I don't know. <laughs> so we now told him, No, no problem, no problem. And you know the thing is, managing conversation. Hmm. I didn't tell Kiss Daniel uh, like it, that that guy had said that. Bro, let me tell, let me let me add a story to that. Mm -hmm. So I've walked around this country with press with so many of the A-list artists, mm -hmm. and one that I walked from nothing was with my brother Adekunlego, where a lot of people never believed in at all, mm -hmm. and I knocked on so many doors of my colleagues in the media. And some of the responses they gave me was so degrading. And I, I have serious love for Ade Kunle. But sadly again, because I have so much love for him, I used to share a lot of things with him. So it was also a lesson for me. So there was one letdown that I told him about. Ah! And I saw his reaction. That thing messed me up. That, ah, why? Are they treating me like that? They don't want... And I told him, I said, ah, I quickly, within two minutes, I said, it's because we have a brother relationship that I mistakenly shared this information with you. Normally, I don't tell you. Mm -hmm. I would have knocked on that door 100 times until the day they open. You won't know. You, you know, would just many, be asking me, you know, why? Why? I'll say, yeah. we're working on it. We're working on it. We're working you know, on there it. Are many times that, that was that, where I learned yeah. that lesson. Never. There are many times that there are disappointing situations. Yes. If I'm on a phone call, um, I don't tell him. Yes. Yes. If, so there are times where I'm on a phone call. When I hear him coming, I'll just stop it because I'm it would affect. With... Yeah. Because you will still rectify that situation, so, but that seed would have been sown, and the artist might not be able to get away from that feeling. So, <laughs> Case recorded that song. God damn. And he told me, he told the guy, I'm not going to give you this song yet. This song needs one more person. Hmm. He's picked up the phone. You see, Kiz Daniel, if he wants to do something for you, he goes in nine years. <laughs> Kiz Daniel, God if he wants it. to do something for you, he goes in nine years. He has a pure heart. 
Mm. And it is ready to move the needle for you. You, you move it, you yourself will not believe. So he now told, um, he now called David. Damn. I said, David, um, I have this record. I'd like you to jump on. Um, he, he sent David a song. But then David had an emergency. He yeah. needed to travel abroad for yeah. And this guy was very eager to drop the song. So T was savage <laughs> and Kiss Daniel were neighbors. Damn. <laughs> Just off this, in the same estate, but off yeah. the same street, uh, same estate. He was yeah. living in AY, all of them. So t t um, he now messaged Tiwa and said, I think he told Tiwa to come to the studio. And she came, they recorded the song. That's how No Wilder remix came about. Can you imagine? Change the game. You see, that song, I, you know, sometimes when I think about it, still fit. That's why Wonder is still in Europe. <laughs> so, so for me, I just always believe that when you have an opportunity to put people on, do it. Hmm. Say it again. Yeah. When you have an opportunity to put people on, do it. Regardless of what Bro, comes to you. I can tell you, there are some things I'm not going to say on. Mm. Yeah. There are some things I'm not going to say. He knows. There are a lot of big songs that I orchestrated in this game. A lot of big songs I orchestrated in this game. I take the song meet you and say bro you, you like this song what do you say oh this is a Suso guy he's a young guy he's trying to come up mm. if you bless him he'll be blessed what does he need oh he's a writer he's not an artist okay fine we can do it what can we do money is like thin hand and let me tell you something i've never taken a dime from any song i connect people to do because for me i believe that is an opportunity for me to keep building absolutely speaking about building me and you still have to sit down one-on-one -on -one. so we don't use this time because my brother has a brand new album out once yes cat. once upon a cat that yeah. Yeah, you guys are troublemakers no, 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 no. <laughs> like, like you We're guys man right. why the hell would wow. you in yanya a big cat hey, in the game once upon, <laughs> once upon a cat is always a cat right Okay, yeah. okay, okay. It's always a cat. Okay, it's also you're still a cat. That's right. <laughs> Talk how to do, me. How did we get that? How did you, you get yeah, how did you decide you on buzzed, that? Name? You buzzed me when we had to drop you know your album, it's been a while. Yeah. All right. Now we're back. Let's drop one album. Uh what do we call it? You sent names. First what was the first name you said yeah, yesterday? Yeah. Names, so yeah. many names and then the the old cats, new cats thing hmm. is trending. Fine ones. Where do we where do we put in? What category do we put in? Yeah, yeah, now and the same fan tweeted. Okay, well, let's just say yeah, yeah, is once upon a cat. You're kidding. And he saw the tweets. He shared it and he said, "This is the the album title." Damn. You know, you remember the old David uh, yeah, yeah. interview yeah. that yeah. 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 he showed me the tweet. He was like, "We've got our album name. Let's not stress it." Do you know that that's the same reason? Yeah. When they co titled his album "Legend or New Legend." Oh, so wow. in the same conversation, oh, wow. fans were going back and forth, mm -hmm. oh, wow. and they said, "Okay, so <laughs> what what position are they putting here? Where would they put one day? One day right. Somebody say one day is a legend. I don't say, man, you guys will just give anybody legend like that. One day opens Twitter, he sees the legend yeah. conversation becoming celebratory and disrespectful at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So he said, "You know what, legend Pretty or much, no legend." Yeah. I must still Pretty be much here. the same emotions we felt mm. when this was happening because you, you know, the, for, to, the guy was trying to be, be disrespectful, disrespectful yeah. right? Yeah, but hmm. it took us. It took me time to even accept that the name should actually be the name for the album because mm. yeah, yeah. it felt like we we're putting something on ourselves that, that was, was that had nothing to do with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but you see, I'll say this today, Shabzi. Get some guys in the game. Let's do one on one with the guy. Nah. I'm just can't. saying some. I'm see, not going to say all. You can't. You can't. Come on, man. You know the thing is. You know. Yeah, you can't. You, like, you see, the hits long, bro. You understand? You know so I mean? the, the most important thing is, it's so easy for the young kids to forget to forget that because they don't. We, sometimes we don't say it. Yeah. You know that's one of the reasons why people like myself is very important that we get people like yeah. you on and we continue to talk about yeah. what you've yeah. done. You know, mm -hmm. so that way the young people will show a little bit of respect. Going back to the album, Once Upon a Cat, 
10 records, right? 13. 13 records. 13 videos. 13 videos yeah. dropped the same day. Yeah, yeah. Round of applause. Yeah, yeah. We haven't heard any or seen anybody try that before. It shows a few things. That the money is long now. <laughs> 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 so, because to shoot, to, I, I remember speaking to Ubi. Like, All shot in three days. Three days. Yeah, three days yeah. 13 videos. Yeah. Now, that was a big story on its own. But another story on the album, Once Upon a Cat, go check that out, brand new album out, yeah, yeah, is the fact that he only on featured young, fresh talent. Yeah. What was the thinking behind that? And, and talk to me about, yes, basically deciding, let's go with the Gen Z's. Just and officially they put their hands together for Ubi Frank. Ubi Frank! <laughs> You're taking, your, you're taking your flowers. Yeah, so. man, be, because he buzzed me. He was like, are you listening to any of these new guys? Because, you know, working with the, you know, you've worked with pretty much everybody. everybody. Just a few. Yeah, yeah, has a, a yeah. song with every yeah. every, yeah. Uh, every yeah. big artist. Yeah. He, was like, he was like, who do you listen to? Who do you listen to? Because I want us to work with, you know, young guys, just mm. new guys. So I, he said, send me, send me a list. So I sent him a few names, and we started sending the guys DMs. Hey, I'm working on my album. I like your stuff. And the guys were excited, hmm. very excited, and you know we had a camp. Everybody started coming one by one. And that was it. Shabzi, we recorded fifty songs in three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. yeah. If Inya is going to drop another album today, if you want yeah, me to, I'll give yeah. you. <laughs> if you want to drop another album, I'll give you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you see. Always, management is understanding what you where the direction you want your guy to go. So when I called him, I said, who are you feeling right now? Send me their names. Mm -hmm. He sent me a couple of names. And you know the funny thing? Yeah, he listens to guys that you will never know that he yeah, listens to. Everybody. But again, so, people, you have to understand his foundation. Yeah, yeah. Jobsy, this is a singer singer. Yeah, if you go to Yaya's house, I think Yaya is the biggest Shave, Shave Vice fan. Yeah, yeah. Love is that weird? Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I exactly. think he's a music guy. Yeah, I See, so I don't. Yeah, raps she vibes back to back. Back to back, and I'll be like, hold on one minute. <laughs> Where? How? How? Oh, right. Guess that what? Music. He's in his house. He's just, he just sees. You know what? I'm just gonna play. And you know what? When you go to Yaya's house, you know Yaya's house like on the three floors. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the penthouse, so oh once he man, goes, my brother, man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. the money is freaking long right now. So <laughs> once you're getting to the penthouse, you can hear the music. You hear music. Mm. So one day during the camp, after at the end of the camp, I said, you know what? Let me give you a, a, a speaker. So I gave gave them a big speaker. So now that entire floor. So if you go to his house, you can hear him play. Uh, there's this song I always like. He plays a lot when I go to his. Uh, Da, 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 disco, da, 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 disco, it's hmm. by Shea Vibes. Wow. Yeah. So he's always playing it. And I now say, you know, music is funny. You will not, you know, because of language barrier, yeah, you will not expect Nia to be playing a Shea Vibes. But for me, I think that's, that's, that's the beauty of music in itself. Now, let me tell you another artist Nia listen to a lot. Um, Runtown. Ah, <laughs> long run towns. Nobody played science. science. Nobody, yeah. hey, sh I, nobody. I, I ran into him. I had to show him. I say, bro, look at this. You know? No, run town is another. Then, when you pick techno, you put then mm. another album. Yeah, played a lot. Was shout techno, out to tech, Techno's last album. Last album. Yo, listen, listen. Don't listen. play techno mouse. So don't play with that. Now, if you if, if you know you know when you're uh, you're just chilling and you tell mm. yeah open your uh, your your listen I play music yeah. if he's playing music you'll be hearing songs that even like he, he his music collection is, is different that's good yeah. so he doesn't even go to top 100 to listen to music he goes to that artist he's right. that's how i do yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no 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 bro i tell you like, like, i'll show you something see who's the second artist on that list Becky, Becky. <laughs> bro. I mean, now I listen to the full thing. Me, I know. So they I think play. I think yeah, I can also see, see who's this one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, I know they play. You know, I go and you know listen to my own artists yeah. fully. I'm not playing with. That's what I do. Then, yeah, put me. Don't you know, follow no trends. That, knowing that, I, I, I Kiss is my friend. Yeah, actually put me on most songs on Kiss's album, yeah. The Maverick. Like hmm. once the song, the album came out. He, he In my it. opinion, yeah. definitely 
the best Afrobeats album of 2023. My personal the, the, the one with the <laughs> black t- leather jacket. Yeah. Right, brother, the Maverick. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Powerful, man. I met I met Gazi from Empire and I looked him in the eyes and I said, I understand everything. Yeah, yeah. But you see, when we're talking Afro beats, this is the best Afro beats album. Hence why when Twe Twe became what it became. I said, this is why Kiss Daniel is who he is. So let me, let me, let me, let me. He's following no trends, say, say and he's gonna bring the whole world to his own sound. You know, Kis, you're gonna fuck with that. You know, Kizania, Kizania mixed and mastered Twelve Twelve on the phone. Ah, uh, yeah, genius. He called me, and he said he wanted to drop two songs. Hmm. He wanted to drop songs, so he sent me the two songs. It was Twelve Twelve and Too Busy oh, to Be, Too, too Busy to yeah. Be Bay. So I played the song. He said, pick one. I picked two or two. I said, but for you, the ladies, man, of the lover boy. They go, won't go for this one. Too busy to be bad. Should I give you a joke? When Twitter, Twitter, the day he posted Twitter, Twitter first, you know what was trending on social media? That Nyaya was making music for the aunties. That, ah, what's wrong with this guy? Making music for aunties. What kind of sound no, that, is that's this? No, that's a kiss. Hey, that kiss. Yeah. I said... These people are crazy. I was from the minute I, he posted that video where he was sitting down and the beat was, I got it because I knew this shit was gonna go and I could see in his face, he had the same energy he had with Buga, so yeah. he was he had the beat between the teeth. I'm see, gonna make this shit go. Shabzi, that Kiss, guy. Kiss knows how to promote music. Ah man, it's not playing. If Kiss tells you, he tells you, will be this song is gonna go. Believe him. Do you know no that, doubt. Do you know that I'm not I don't know if you would like me to say this, but do you know that Odo hmm. was given to two different artists in the game and they didn't like the song? Hey. And then the word got back to him that he didn't like the song. That's when he dropped it. Yeah, he said he's going to drop it. He said, you know, kiss is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, so I back w- to Yaya's album. I want to go back to Yaya's album yeah. for this. Again, Once Upon a Cat, yeah. out now in Yanya. 13 banging records, 13 incredible videos. My brother looking fresh. Yeah. After all this while, you still look like a young cat in the game. Well, thank you, brother. You know, that, 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 we need to say so, that. Sh- me, sh- I have sh- a I problem think... with, with Once Upon a Cat. Tell me. Great music, fantastic, you know. I was listening to, I listen, me when I'm in the gym is when I listen to projects. Mm. I was just enjoying it, you know, different songs. I will now look at, who's this artist? But, but, but I like who's this artist? You know, the King Maddy record, crazy. Like that one, f- first day when the re- album came out, w- that one was the one that first got like yeah. five pull ups from yeah. me. Yeah. Straight. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Ah, this thing crazy. And I said, yeah, yeah, you didn't even give us Afrobeat head like two or one. I don't vex with Ubi. I'm like, just give, okay, I understand this thing, they sweet me. I can vibe in my car. You know, you can listen at home and stuff. I say, Nyanya, give me what, bro. You see, the thing is, the thing about, ah, about I, that I, album I, is, I, we, I just felt, to, we just wanted to, we just wanted to. I felt it was a personal attack. No, no, the thing is, me. we wanted to just portray, <laughs> we wanted to just portray this young I, I young get artist, it, man. Because you see, just open the doors the into the new. And you know the funny thing? Some of them came when we already had recorded the songs. Mm. And it was just for them to, Put in their own verse. And some co wrote. And some co wrote you know, the, the, the songs. Yeah. I know when they walk into the studio, there's something. The energy. The energy. The facts. So, so, so Chubbs, let me tell you. I like that. Be, let me correct something, one impression. People feel like, oh, uh, maybe we didn't have money or we didn't have this thing to actually get bigger artists to put on the project. <laughs> See, Chubbs, when you're working on an album and your mindset is getting big stars, big stars <laughs> on the album, you are not going to drop that. No, 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 no. Clarence. Clarence, Baba, the, forget. All, the, all the people that need to... Forget, forget. You know, like, everybody has their own schedule. So, and you know what? All these young kids came into the studio. Hmm. At a, you know what? Very energetic. Positive. Very positive. They are the ones asking you, Baba, when is this song coming out? Yeah. Go on their pages. They're, They're promoting. They're promoting the song. Yeah. Look at Queen Maddie. Hmm. King you Maddie. see, Kim Maddie. Yes. So she always corrects yeah. me. Saying, no, it's not. It's not good. <laughs> That's why I have to correct. Yeah, she, she always corrects me. That girl. No, she's going places now. She is. Going places. Going places. You see, 
and I love the fact that Arasta tweeted yesterday ah, and said, "Kumadi is next." What? She said she tweeted it. That's I started tweeted yesterday saying King Madi is next. No, yeah, you if you are a music person and you don't no. acknowledge when you another know, power. You know, she, if you see her, coming. she acts very. She doesn't act like the person doing that magic. Mm, but that's the good thing. Mm. She that's the good thing. She a lot of me. you know a lot of the good musicians. Yes. You know, Inyanya is one of them, and and all of these other guys. They when you see them. They don't come with the air of, I know I'm this. No, they come with the air of, I'm just me. There's another, but there's greatness another girl, there's comes another girl from on me. the project. Her name is Derry Black. Mm. Let me tell you how I met Derry Black. I went to Port Harcourt. You know, Techno just. Um, there's, a sh there's a show. There's a show I got I don't know what they're drinking in that city, Something man. That city, there's a show I got Techno in, like, in November. It's crazy, bro. Was it October or no? It was October. It was the independent show. Techno and I said, ah, if he's going to go for this show, I have to come with him. Mm. I said, okay, sure, let's go. We got on the flight, landed in Port Harcourt. We got to the show. You know that, because Techno is a star artist yeah. for the show. So people go open up. People open up. So different people opened up. So he came 20 minutes before he would go and stay. Because yeah. it was like an, on an island. So yeah. The hotel was closer to the venue. So yeah. just see us in the venue. So we got backstage. Chubsy. As I looked at that girl, nobody has said anything to me. As I looked at her, Star did his body. I saw something there. She went to say hi to Techno. She didn't even say hi to me. Because she felt like I've been messaging this guy and he didn't reply me. <laughs> so I don't know if I go and meet him if he will embarrass me. Mm. So I stood there. Osh baby! Now called me and said, let me introduce you to this girl. She's a star. I'm meeting her for the first time today. I just saw her on stage now. She's a star. She blew him away. Like, mm. actually, yeah. So, who go help you? No go stress now you. Now told me you this is her friend. I didn't come. I, with I collect. Yeah, I collected her. They, mm. She collected my number. So when we go to the airport the next morning, she sent me like five songs from her. So immediately I put on my headphones the music i dropped my phone my headphones i message i said send me your names because you're coming to lagos tomorrow when she came we started recording music it was different go and listen to track one and <coughs> track four Derry black that's her yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah when before we started she had before Inya's project dropped yeah she had 26 45 listeners 26 <coughs> now she's at thirty four thousand. Uh, in, in 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 11 days sorry excuse me in 19 days that's growth you, you know why six or 26k no 30 34k now she hmm. was at what now she was at 26 number 26 two wow. six. now she's at 30, <laughs> 34 no no growth you know what <laughs> yo <laughs> this girl's mom has called me and she's saying that they don't know what has just happened to their daughter because the daughter this is all she ever wanted the girl called me a few days ago because you know she co-wrote some songs yeah. and we paid her and also gave her royalties. Mm. She told me, guess what? I said, what? She said, my dad was going to pay my school fees and he said he, he won't pay my school. He used to say he would not pay my school fees if I continue doing music. Mm. But guess what? I, I can pay him my school fees yeah, now. Guess what? I just got home and I told him that. He was saying that I'm still looking for money. He said, don't, don't worry. I'll pay the school fees. God wow. damn it. And I told the dad from where? Did that ask me from where is it from? Music. Music. <laughs> <laughs> That's the flex. So we caught because you see the thing. Pops's mindset will change. Yeah. And then the man is the biggest, biggest fan. fan. Yeah. She called me today. We we're talking and she said, yeah. Guess what, sir? I said, What? She said, My lecturer in the hall, in the school sings Survive. There's a song called Survive. Hmm. Yeah. So he sings it word for word. So, you see, for me... That's how music can change now, lives. Yeah. Guess what? When I wanted to... When I called Ian, yeah, I said, the last artist to record on that song was Young Du. Mm. Mm. The yeah. streets. Yeah, man. Now, I have a friend who was working... Who, yeah. who does stuff with Young Du. So, I, I... He called me on video call. He said, ah, bye-bye, baby. So, when he did that, mm. I took time to listen to some of the songs that he's dropped and everything. And I told him, yeah, there's a song I feel like this guy's voice would be very perfect on. He said, which one? I said, Sweet Life. He said, okay, let's get him to record. 
the guy came and recorded the song. <laughs> and that was it. He you see, it. and he killed it. Easy. So you see, for us, eh, <laughs> I don't care what any, anybody is going to say <laughs> about oh, young. You see, bro, music. Mark it today, and I'm going to say music. it on camera. In the next two, three years, most of the guys on that project will be some Would of the biggest to? artists. Yeah. Talk, uh, talk that talk. But guess what? You I'm saw happy them. That Nyaya has been listening to them on the ground yeah. without even me knowing. And yeah. decided to uplift and them to say, you know what? To the platform. And guess what? Some of them have never even shot a video, a music video for their song. And they appeared in this. And we shot. That's why we decided to say, you know what? I told everybody you, must, you know, we must shine. Have a video. So the Let everybody yeah. shine. Yeah. So we Listen. shot we shot we shot a lot of content with them. There's something we did like Listen. a podcast interview. Yeah. We, we're going to start going to put that, one. put that one out. You see, we did we, everybody here kind of was the one interviewing them, talking to them, That's the amazing. and everything. So we're putting a lot of work in on this project. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Shabzi, for me, this is a project that I have had outdone myself in terms of making sure, bro. It was more ex most of the the most expensive project of course done. Of you shoot a video yeah. shoot a video for 13 songs drop it yeah. in one day Fame come producers, play producers A&R, writers, writers giving everything. everybody credit uh -huh. that definitely i saw it um again like i said with ubi you and i still have to sit down and, and go through things um and talk that, that, there, uh, there's uh, we're gonna have ubi 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 talk the talk uh, 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 but i want to you know i want us to round up on this yeah. once upon a cat brand new album Yanya 2024 is out now. Yanya, yes. you're running around Europe at the moment. Yeah. Congratulations on, on some of the stages that you killed. Shout Thank outs you. to you Thank for coming you. out at Omale, enjoying yeah, that kind of reception. Um, I, have to, I have to say big ups to Omale. That was hmm. a beautiful show. And I was telling him backstage. Yeah. I had to tell, I had yeah. to tell Omale, I was like, bro, I didn't even know you had this That's much Hit. Like yeah. I, I like I know you yeah. have hits, but, yeah, but when you see his fans, night, is when you know. Like, no, 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 no. So you know, that's he, when he was you standing know. beside on my list track list. Yeah. yeah, and he looked at it. I was like, I was like hold on. Yes, yes. Yeah, it was so a beautiful show, man. absolutely. I think that's the reason why a lot of artists need to tour. They need to perform. Yeah. They need to go out. Yeah. And you know and what? People can bro, receive those I've, records. You know, in a while. Yeah, I've not seen. You know the funny thing. This is the first time. I'm actually seeing on Malay yesterday. Yeah. It was the first time I was seeing one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And knowing that I'm seeing this guy one on one, and you know, I always call him the pandemic yeah. baby. Yeah. On Malay. Because he changed boy. the sound. Yeah. On Malay changed, changed the whole, yeah, whole, changed whole sound, the sound the whole in 2020. Yeah. You know, 2020 changed the whole sound. And you know, the thing is, seeing him perform, I was happy because I felt like he was so big during the pandemic. Yeah. That That's pandemic did not even allow him to move. Yes. Ooh. Just imagine yeah. Omale was moving during the pandemic. So now he's picking now up. Now he's all picking those up. Flowers. Listen. He's picking all the flowers. Up all those flowers now. No, last night was, was mad. Nah, it was crazy. It was, I loved it. Was it. Crazy. And you know, Absolutely. I'm happy that he um were able to share the same stage Absolutely. with him yesterday. Yeah. And big shout out to you always. Absolutely, man. Bro, Thank I'll you, say man. this, guys. I always say, you, guys, listen to me. Shops is gold. Appreciate it, man. And I always say this to him, and our relationship has been like this for years. For years, man. And you know what? Appreciate it, man. For a guy that never changes, bro, I'll tell you that Shopsy wakes up and he looks for how other people are going to grow. grow. Appreciate mm. it, man. And you know, I told you at the Grammys. Yeah. Let me tell you what Shopsy did at the Grammys. He made sure that even the shows that we didn't have tickets to, he told it. us about it and told us how to get tickets to those shows. Appreciate it, man. Make sure that we're there. Yeah, and he would take it was I and Casey. Mm. He would hold us and say, "Let's go. I'll introduce you to this guy." That's you know, you see, thing. there is there's something you have that helps your growth, and I'll tell you what it is: is the fact that you don't feel like if you open the door and hold it for another guy to enter, that somebody will push the guy. The room will be too filled up <laughs> for you to enter. Yeah, just to add to that, you don't belong to any camp. Every camp is your camp. So we're strong. Yeah. That we're stronger yeah. together. So bro, keep it. Thank and you. And I believe that. So much, bro. I Thank believe you, that if bro. we if we did this ten years ago, I remember I used to come to your apartment. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. We'd play you music. Yeah. If you did it ten years ago, yeah. And you're still doing it now. I remember that even this album. Yeah. Some of the songs I was always yeah. sending you to you. Yeah. You play you. Yeah. You know, and you know that there's this real thing yeah. in you that shows that you are not faking it. Yeah. Mm -mm. Bro, I like this. Let's yeah. go. And that's why you also yeah. had a beautiful show in Lagos. Absolutely, bro. man. Where you people, family came in out. December Shout this out. Year, 
it's gonna be mad. Yeah? We're gonna be we're gonna go because crazy. Because last one you felt like you just was yeah. a quick thing. Yeah. So this year but we're this planning year? from time. We have, to, we, have, we have to make sure it's a festival. Yeah. Chapsy! I appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. And, and that wraps up this episode of Ali Shopola, the official Afrobeats podcast with my brothers, Ubi Franklin yes, and the incredible Hinya Hinya. Thank you, Until Thank you. next time, peace. Love, guys. And we're out. The Afrobeats podcast. Right. Right.